myself Rajesh here, working as assistant professor, department of ISSJ Bayati. Welcome you all to microprocessor and microcontroller lab, uh, having the subject code of 17 CSL 48. Today we are going to discuss about the experiment number 13, that is stepper motor by using ARM program. We know that the motor which is used to rotate either in clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation, the same thing is going to be implemented by using the ARM grid. For that, we require kill software and kill kit. The software which is used to execute this program is kill microvision software. Double click on this and go to the project, select new microvision project and give the name of the project as some name and then go to index speed founded by index. Under that, Select LPC2148. See that there are so many ICs are there. Yeah. You need to select LPC2148 and select OK. If the program is C program, you need to select yes here. Start up that yes, yes, and then yes. Okay, once you do this, you need to go and start with the new file name. For that, go to file, select new, and here you need to type your program. I have the program already which has been copied and I was loaded over here and I need to save the file by using .c extension in my one folder. So for that we do yes t dot c save this and then you have to go to target, right click on the source group, add existing files to this program, select the C file which is created now and add this close, click on close button again go to target options there you find out one of the uh, field like output you need to select a create hex file for this project and also you find out one more uh, uh, tab that is utilities go here and select use external tool for flash programming if you click on this, you will get this is being active and here you need to select the uh, executable software which is used to run your program that is there in program files go to program files, select Philips semiconductor under the Philips flat utility there you will find out LPC 210X ISP select this and open and then you find some bar right here you need to reset this with Removing 384 and placing that as 96001. Click on OK and then go to target that is translate this, compile the program. You will find out the number of errors and warnings if there are any. Zero errors and zero warnings, then you are supposed to go for build. Okay. Once the build is, once the leaving is over, if you find the same number of like zero errors and zero warnings, you are supposed to you are ready for the execution. So that we are using the R kit toolkit. There you can find out one of the serial in that you need to connect here. Okay. So the first com and then there is an adapter that will supply the power for this toolkit. We have the stepper motor that we have, we can find out the 4 pin circuit and 2 pin circuit that 2 are supposed to be connected over here and then there is one more serial bus that we need to connect from J31 to this place okay once the program is correct go and click on the load by this you will find out the load button over here. Before pressing the load button, you will find out one reset and one program switch. Press and hold program switch as well as the reset. And then click on the load button. Once you click on the load button, you will find out this. That once you get this, you release the reset and then release the program switch. And come over here and find out the motor is going to be rotated in a specific direction. You can see the direction of the stepper motor which is rotating 
First it is rotated in clockwise, then it is rotated in anti-clockwise. That's all about this problem. Uh, that is uh, with respect to stepper motor, we created this uh, program and we have seen the environment, how to execute and uh, what kind of output that you are going to see with a stepper motor. Uh, regarding Weimar machines with this uh, uh, experiment, they will ask about how many degrees of steps it will be rotated. It depends upon the step size given by the manufacturer. Some of the stepper motors will rotate in 1.5 degree, 1.4 degree like that. And uh, other than that, like uh, how to create the delay and how to increase the delay time within the stepper motor, those kind of questions they'll ask. Thank you.